Every year, over 100,000 people die from venomous snake bites around the world. But not all snake venom is created equal. Some are far more toxic than others. Scientists measure venom strength using a scale called LD5. The lower the number, the deadlier the venom. In this video, we're counting down the 10 most venomous snakes on Earth, ranked by pure venom toxicity. But before we start, let's explain a little how we measure just how venomous a snake really is. How venom toxicity is measured. We use a scientific method called LD5, which stands for lethal dose for 50% of test subjects. This is the amount of venom needed to kill half of a group of test animals, usually mice or rats, when injected. The lower the LD5 value, the more potent the venom, meaning it takes less venom to cause death. For example, a snake with an LD5 of 0.01 mg per kilogram is far more dangerous than one with an LD5 of 1 mg per kilogram. But remember, potency isn't the only factor. Some snakes, like the king cobra, inject much larger amounts of venom per bite. But right now, we are just talking about the venom and how toxic it is. Number 1. Inland Taipan At number 1 is the Inland Taipan, or Oxyurinus microlepidotus. This snake has the most toxic venom of any land snake on the planet. According to lab tests, its LD5 value is just 0.025 mg per kilogram, subcutaneous, meaning it takes only a tiny amount of venom to kill. A single bite from the inland taipan can contain enough venom to kill over 100 fully grown adults. That's not just powerful, it's surgical grade lethality. Its venom is a complex blend of neurotoxins, which shut down the nervous system, myotoxins, which dissolve muscle tissue, and procoagulants, which cause massive internal clotting. Victims can die within 30 to 45 minutes if untreated. But here's the twist. Despite how deadly it is, this snake is not responsible for a single confirmed human death. It's incredibly shy, avoids confrontation, and lives in remote, arid regions of central Australia, far from populated areas. Nicknamed the Fierce Snake, the inland taipan is actually calm and elusive. Its reputation comes from the lab, not the field. It's the ultimate paradox, the deadliest venom on earth, in one of the most peaceful snakes you'll never meet. Number 2. Eastern Brown Snake Number 2 is the Eastern Brown Snake, or Pseudonaja textilis. With an LD5 value of around 0.0365 mg per kilogram subcutaneous, it's not far behind the inland taipan in venom toxicity. But unlike the taipan, this snake does live near people, and it's responsible for the majority of snakebite deaths in Australia. Its venom is a powerful mix of neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, and procoagulants attacking the nervous system, the heart, and the blood all at once. Victims can suffer dizziness, paralysis, cardiac arrest, and massive internal bleeding. The eastern brown is fast, alert, and can be aggressive if it feels threatened. It's been known to chase intruders, and its strikes are lightning quick. Just one bite contains enough venom to kill several adults. But here's the terrifying part. Its bites are often painless and hard to notice at first, giving victims a false sense of safety until symptoms suddenly hit. Despite its dangerous nature, fatalities are relatively rare thanks to anti-venom and quick medical response in Australia. But make no mistake, this is one of the deadliest real-world snakes on Earth, and it earns that title not just in labs but in real life. Number 3. Coastal Taipan at number three is the coastal taipan, or Oxyurinus scutellatus. With an LD5 value of approximately 0.106 mg per kilogram, subcutaneous, its venom is incredibly potent. Just one bite can contain enough to kill 20 to 50 adult humans. This snake is native to coastal regions of northern and eastern Australia, as well as Papua New Guinea, where it's feared for both its toxicity and its attitude. Its venom is primarily neurotoxic, shutting down the nervous system, 
and also contains myotoxins and procoagulants, leading to muscle breakdown and internal clotting. Symptoms can begin within 30 minutes. Headache, vomiting, paralysis, and eventually respiratory failure. Without antivenom, death is likely. What makes the coastal Taipan especially dangerous is its speed and accuracy. It's fast-moving, can grow over two meters long, and delivers multiple quick strikes in a single attack. Before the development of antivenom in the 1950s, nearly every bite was fatal. Thankfully, fatalities today are rare due to fast medical care, but this is still one of the most feared snakes in Australia, and for good reason. When it comes to venom and aggression, the coastal taipan is the full package. Number 4. Dubois Sea Snake Number 4 is the Dubois Sea Snake, or Apisurus duboisii. Found in the warm, shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific, especially around New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, and Northern Australia, this snake has one of the most toxic venoms ever recorded in a marine animal. Its LD5 value is about 0.044 mg per kilogram intravenous, extremely potent, and on par with the most dangerous land snakes. The venom is a mix of neurotoxins and myotoxins, capable of paralyzing muscles, halting breathing, and breaking down muscle tissue. Despite this deadly chemistry, actual human fatalities from Dubois sea snake are very rare. These snakes are not aggressive, and human contact is limited mostly to divers or fishermen. Like most sea snakes, they have small fangs and tend to bite only when handled or threatened. They spend most of their lives underwater, feeding on eels and small fish, and they can stay submerged for up to two hours thanks to their efficient oxygen use. With such powerful venom and a secretive nature, the Dubois sea snake is a true deep-sea assassin, lethal in the lab, but nearly invisible in real life. Number 5. Beaked Sea Snake At number 5 is the beaked sea snake, or Hydrophus schistosus. Found in the coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific, this snake is often overlooked due to its reclusive nature, but make no mistake, it is highly toxic. The beaked sea snake has an LD5 value of approximately 0.09 mg per kilogram intravenous, making it one of the most venomous marine snakes. Its venom is a potent mix of neurotoxins, myotoxins, and cardiotoxins, which paralyze the nervous system, break down muscle tissue, and disrupt heart function. Without prompt medical intervention, a bite could lead to death within just a few hours. Despite its lethal venom, the beaked sea snake is generally non-aggressive and prefers to avoid humans. Most bites occur when people accidentally disturb the snake while diving or fishing. Unlike other sea snakes, the beaked sea snake has a distinct, long, beaked snout, which it uses to root around in the sand for its prey, mainly eels. The fact that its venom is so potent, yet it rarely encounters people, makes it one of the more mysterious killers lurking in the ocean. Number 6. Many Banded Krite at number six is the many-banded krite, or Bungerus multisinctus. Found throughout Southeast Asia, this strikingly beautiful snake is known for its bold black and yellow bands, but don't let its colorful appearance fool you. The many-banded krite has some of the most potent venom in the world, with an LD5 value of around 0.1 mg per kilogram subcutaneous. Its venom is primarily neurotoxic, targeting the nervous system, and causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and in some cases death. The many-banded krite is most active at night, making it particularly dangerous for those who unknowingly stumble across it in the dark. Its venom works quickly, with symptoms often beginning within 30 minutes of a bite. Without antivenom, death can occur within hours. Fortunately, the many-banded krite is shy and non-aggressive. It prefers to avoid humans and will only bite if provoked or threatened. Despite its venomous reputation, most bites are rare and fatalities can be prevented with prompt medical treatment. Despite being one of the most venomous snakes in Asia, 
Its calm behavior and avoidance of human interaction make it less dangerous in real-world encounters. Number 7. Black Banded Sea Krite At number 7 is the Black Banded Sea Krite, or Latacata semifasciata. Found in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, this snake has a venomous bite that can cause rapid paralysis and death if not treated. With an LD5 of around 0.1 milligrams per kilogram intravenous, it's extremely dangerous, especially when you consider how far these snakes can travel along coastal areas. The venom of the black-banded sea krite is a potent neurotoxin that attacks the nervous system, leading to paralysis and respiratory failure. Despite the danger, Fatalities from its bite are rare due to its docile nature and the fact that it's not usually aggressive toward humans. These snakes are primarily nocturnal, hunting for small fish and eels on the seafloor, and they only surface to breathe. They possess small fangs that are well suited for injecting venom into their prey. Though they rarely bite, when they do, the effects can be swift and deadly if medical attention isn't sought immediately. The black-banded sea krite is an ocean-going assassin, beautiful in its banded appearance but lethal beneath the waves. Number 10. Blue krite. And last but certainly not least, at number 10, is the blue krite or Bungarus carolilius. Native to Southeast Asia, the blue krite is known for its vibrant blue coloration and, of course, its potent venom. Its LD5 value is about 0.12 mg per kilogram, subcutaneous, making it highly toxic but not quite as deadly as some of the others on this list. The venom of the blue krite is primarily neurotoxic, affecting the central nervous system and causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and eventually death without proper medical intervention. What makes the snake especially dangerous is its nighttime activity. Blue krites are primarily nocturnal, and they are often encountered unexpectedly. Their bites are typically painless at first, which means victims may not realize they've been bitten until serious symptoms set in hours later. Although aggressive when cornered, the blue krite tends to avoid humans and will only bite when provoked or startled. Its venom, while incredibly deadly, is rarely fatal today due to the availability of anti-venom and medical treatment in regions where this snake is found. Even so, its stealth and potent venom make the blue krite one of the most feared serpents in Southeast Asia. And that wraps up our look at the most venomous snakes in the world. From the deadly inland taipan to the stealthy blue krite, we've explored some of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. But remember, the real danger isn't just in their venom, it's in how we interact with them. Want to learn more about these incredible snakes? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And if you found this video fascinating, don't forget to like and share it with fellow wildlife enthusiasts. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe out there.